late May 2022, my friend Joel and I set out to complete the Viking circuit. I had heard about it from my father who completed it back in the late 70s. This was our first ever hike and we definitely went straight into the deep end, but however challenging, it was an exceptional trip. I hope this video gives some insight of the circuit to other first timers. Now that is a view. That's a nice shit. I think I need to take one too, so that's great. Enjoy. I'm gonna... Uh... Why are you in the darkness, Joel? It's where I live, internally. <laughs> You get a fire going in here? It was nice knowing you, Ethan. <laughs> There's little little beds here. Please don't feed the rats. You can dry your clothes and shit on here? Yeah. What are you doing? Stretching my ankles. <laughs> what else would I do? What's up there, Dad? The Viking. And behind those clouds. The cross cut saw. Like euphoric. <laughs> Try and stand here. Ah, oh, fuck that, bro. No, dude, I can do it. You can... I'll hold you back. Just no, go. don't hold me no. back. Just fucking get away okay. from oh, me. Okay, 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 okay. Go, go. Just look out there. Look down the valley. Whoa. Breath back and. You've done it. You conquered your fears. Yeah. Now to conquer my fears of the button man. <laughs> Yep, uh, conditions have changed. Rain jackets are on. Captain's log. Captain's log. <laughs> <sighs> We're out of breath. It's been a pretty good hike up to where I think we're at the top of Mount Buggery nearly. Well, we made it to Mount Buggery. And fair to say we're bugging, huh? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Uh, but now we've got about two, two and a half k's through these hills here and uh, we'll reach Mount Speculation and Camp Creek where there's more water and uh, and we'll set up camp there and get some rest before day two. Man with the golden eyeball. Careful bro. Fucking dangerous for me. Go downhill. <sighs> Follow old Rafiki, he knows the way. In banana, squash banana. Oh, there's a little bit of snap. Alright, poles. Thank you, sir. Well, uh, daylight got away from us, as you can tell. Then we got up to these two last ledges on speculation. And you actually have to do a little bit of rock climbing to get up. Which in the dark, on wet rocks, was pretty intimidating, but we did it. 
Uh, so now we're on the top of speculation and we've only got about two or three hundred meters to walk and uh, we should find a campsite. <coughs> All right, day two. Uh, it was very wet and raining last night, so all our gear's a bit gross, but we've got the rain jacket and pants on and we're making our move. Okay, so we've made it to Camp Creek. It's just a little camp down below where we stayed last night. We're just uh, filling up on water. Fresh, nice, fresh mountain water. Oh. Nice, cold, fresh mountain water Ooh. what a view Check it out. <laughs> oh the the button man has been around apparently he piles rocks ah oh, well we're behind schedule we've been lost for ages couldn't find the track we're back on the track now after climbing some rocks and you can see the viking in the distance is looking pretty spectacular it's pretty ominous looking at it and thinking we're going that way Oh well, this hike ain't getting any easier. After you, buddy. Off into the marine boot camp. It'd be nice if someone could get a chainsaw out here. But, uh, not looking that way. We've probably passed about 20, at least climbed 20 trees so far. So we made it to the Viking saddle. I'm going to set up tents here where we're not under any dead trees. We're going to see if we can get a fire going as well, just a small fire. Job. Coming up the Viking. As you can see, we're at the uh, base of the Viking, the actual crest of it. There's a red hat up there in a the marker, so it looks like we're heading that way. All right, we're at the Viking, I believe. I don't really see how you meant to go around, so we're gonna have to go have a look up here. You got this, bro. I'm gonna get out of your way. Oh, we just had to fucking rock climb through this hole. Thank God there's a rope there. Just wrap it, wrap it around your hands. Yep, that's it. That's it. Use your feet, use your feet. Use your feet, take the weight off you. Good boy. Proud of you. That's it, swing your ass around. Well done, brother. Fuck. That was so scary. <sighs> Viking, we're nearly up the top. That was fucking scary, wasn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> I was shitting myself. When I yelled out, then I thought it was going backwards. <laughs> I might have to go through and then you pull it up. Yep. Right? Yep. This ain't gonna work. Grab my Got stick. Yep. Got it. Uh, uh, uh. Stop. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna climb through. And then I need you to push my bag up to me and I'll pull it through. And then we'll do yours. I'll get it like the whole way up with this. Oh, yeah. I got it. Hang on. Nearly, nearly, got it. Make sure you put your leg in. Get that lift right leg up. Oh. Throw it up. This is the pocket. That's it. Up. You're good. You're good. Well Let's done. See, bro. Two hours we've made it to the top of the Viking. <laughs> it's a shitload of a. Climbing and walking, but we made it. 
hard work pays off. So Joel and I made a big error. We saw some ribbons, which we thought was a trail and we followed them and took us about 20 minutes down this gorge. Really steep shit. We got a fair way down and I noticed the ribbons wrapping around following the cliff line, which looks like we're in the wrong direction. So we paused, we checked the map. We're well off the uh, walking track. And I realized that those ribbons are leading back around the Viking, back to where the rope was. It's actually the alternative path for people who didn't want to do the rock climb. So unfortunately we've just added probably 45 minutes to our hike today and had to go up the face, but lesson learned, check your map regularly. <sighs> so uh, we thought we were at the top of the Viking before, but we weren't, we are now. Uh, what a view. How's Jolly going? Hey, he's alive and well. He's getting a bit more happy now the sun's out. He was having a bit of a breakdown before. Feeling better, boy? No sleep will do that to anyone, and you'll know when Layla comes along. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna have a breaking boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty epic getting around this valley. I don't know if it's something we'll be really proud of when we finish. And we're just talking about some of the lessons we've learned. Always triple tie your shoelaces. <laughs> Always check the map regularly. Bring waterproof socks. Whew. Ah. We're uh, still got a fair way to go, smashing through this kind of stuff. So we're not having a great time, but got to do what we got to do. So 6 p.m. Joel and I made a crack at getting down the last kilometer of the Wanangatta track. Unfortunately, couldn't find out where we were going. Dark came in real quick. GPS wasn't proving super reliable in the thick. And uh, we decided to play it safe. And we're just trekking back now down to the Wanangatta River. I'm going to set up camp there. Get up bright and early with a bit of sunlight. Day four, ready to try and hike out to the car. I was kept awake. A lot of last night just trying every time my toes touched anything because they feel like open wounds and the blisters that have started popping up because I've been wearing wet socks every day. So um we're about to get out there. Not that excited about the prospects of the uh the day kicking off, but got some more wet shoes. At least our water's full. Just gonna pack up the tent off we go. SHALL NOT PASS! <laughs> After half an hour bush bashing and finding the remainder of the track, we're off the Wanagata track Yay. and on the Zika Spur Trail, four drive trail. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I can hear your heartbeat from here. No. Fucking <laughs> loud. Oh boy. Oh, another quick break as these hills just keep getting steeper. Water. Absolutely battling on day four. The uh, side of my knee is killing me. The tendons all running through there. Shit house. Just had to walk up the Zika spur track, which is four drive track, so we thought it would be easy, but it's actually super steep and difficult. Well, not difficult, just tiring. And uh, it flared up my knee, so now we've made it to the Zika Spur walking track, so we're about to um, head off on that, and it's 4.7 k's back to just past the car. <sighs> so much snow.
yeah, fair to say our last day hasn't turned out how we wanted. And uh, man, if things got much worse, we'd be in big trouble. But we're 300 meters to the road after 5Ks of walking through snow with no food and water. Soon, done soon. After five hours of being lost in the snow, with a temperamental GPS, minimal food and water, and freezing temperatures, we were finally back at the car. We'd completed the Viking circuit.